Hey, hey, welcome to the kitchen with me, Debbie. Hope you're having a fabulous day. In this bowl here, I have about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I will clean in white vinegar. And I've cut them in um, bite-sized pieces. The reason for that is I'm going to make a, a coconut curry chicken stew. But the um, interesting part is that you've seen it already is what I'm going to do with it. Jade is not going to like this, so I'm making it into a curry chicken stew so that I can leave some out for her to make some white rice that she can go with. But for myself and for my husband, I'm going to be making a curry chicken pot pie. Pot pie is something that I love tremendously. And I've had this idea for some time. Hmm, why not try different versions of pot pie? And the first thing I came up with is the curry chicken pot pie. Yes, I'm going to use the store bar crust. So. Okay, so now I'm going to season up the chicken. Here in this container I have my, um, you see me talk about this in earlier videos. If, if you need what this is, then just, you know, drop a message in the inbox. This is my green marinade. I'm going to put about a, a tablespoon onto the chicken. You don't have to, but I just love it. I think it, it, it helps to marinate the chicken much better. I'm going to add some black pepper. That's about a teaspoon of black pepper. I have Creole seasoning. A little less than a teaspoon. And then this is my adobo all-purpose. I'm also going to add a little less than a teaspoon. This is all spice, about a half a teaspoon. Paprika, about a teaspoon. Garlic powder, about a teaspoon. I don't have any um, scotch body pepper, so for spice, I'm going to use about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can also use cayenne pepper. And I'm going to use a, about a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. And I already need to squeeze and I need to do the salt. Why do I always forget to take the salt out? About a teaspoon of salt. to the curry powder, about a tablespoon and a half of curry powder. I'm just eyeballing that. Once I rub it up, I'll see if I need more actually. And I don't have any gloves here and I'm not putting my hand in that. So let me try the tongs at first. Just about a half a teaspoon of curry powder. Okay, I say the tongs did a perfectly good job. Okay. You guys, I'm gonna. I'm going to wrap this up, put it in the oven, and then I'm going to move on to while that's, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get some vegetables together. I have red, yellow, and green bell peppers here. I have some fresh thyme. I have a big onion, but a little piece of it is missing. I have some red, about four red potatoes. I have carrots. And I have celery. I'm going to prepare this and then come back. And then when I come back, then it will be time to cook. So I'll see. Okay, guys, all my vegetables are ready to go. So it's cooking time. So to this pot you see right here, 
I'm going to add a tablespoon of my um my oil here, my grapeseed oil. You can use any oil you choose. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day as you're watching this video. I must say today, I'm getting some butter here, guys. Today was really phenomenal for me. I spent most of the day with my best friend, Alice. And as we ended the day, I stopped off on the plane to see how we were both. We like to help each other out in business and our blogs and our social media. And boy, did I learn a lot from her. So one tablespoon of oil, guys. I'm going to add about a quarter stick of butter. Okay, guys, I say I say this to say, I say that to say to you, women, we have to. Now, there, there is so much talk out there that we don't support each other, we don't encourage each other. It's time for us to change that. You know, we have to, we, we, to get anywhere in life, we truly need each other. And it's time for us to see that and live that, you know. There is no need to compete with each other. Let's support each other, lift one another up, build each other up. This world is so full of divisiveness and crap right now. Let's, let's start change within ourselves, the people around us, our communities, and let everyone else follow. And you'll see the difference the world will become. Because for one, our children will begin to follow. Okay, so as I'm waiting on the bottom of the mouth, I have some garlic here. So I'm trying to sneak and clean up in the meantime. About two cloves of garlic that I chopped up. I'm just going to keep stirring this, saute this. Maybe two minutes till I smell the garlic just, ooh, you know. Here's our chicken. Let's get our chicken in here. Keep stirring the, the garlic and the chicken together for about two minutes or so. Okay guys, I'm going to I'm going to cover this up and cook this for about 15 minutes without any liquid. However, because it's curry and you don't want it to stick, I'm going to come back and probably stir it every every 5 minutes or so, but it's going to cook like that without any liquid because it's going to it's going to it's going to, you know, it's going to 
it's gonna eventually because it's not cooking high it's gonna it's gonna have its own liquid in there because you don't have it on high you want to take your time so I'm gonna cook this for 15 minutes but I'm gonna be stirring it every four to five minutes or so to prevent it from sticking to the bottom or burning so I will see you back in 15 minutes okay okay guys it's been 15 minutes actually it's been 16 and look at this see all that liquid without adding any to it that does not look good okay I'm gonna need this to be thick so I'm gonna add a little flour in here so I've added two tablespoons of flour and I'm just gonna keep stirring this about two to three minutes before I get some liquid on in here that just looks so good already Like that's just ready that just look like it's just it's just ready for some white rice and it's good to go look at that it's just ready for some white rice and some vegetables on the side and <laughs> you got chicken curry right here ready to go I'm just cooking out that flour I just add in there just a little bit I'm going to get a cup of water to add to this. Just a cup of water. I'm going to cover this guys and I'm going to cook this slowly for 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll see you back shortly. Oh wow. I'm, I'm, I'm going to some time. There we go. As you saw, I've, been, I've, been, I've still been stirring because I didn't put a lot of liquid in there. And I don't want to burn it, so I've been stirring. Okay, what I'm going to add to this now is some, some vegetables, the vegetables. Here I have the onion, thyme, and what I did with the bell peppers, I just rough chopped the bell peppers. And the onions, I'm sorry, the green onion. Let me stir this in. I just preheat started preheating my oven to um 350 for what I'm gonna take out for the Popeye. Okay, now let me get the um I did cut the potatoes a little bit on the smaller side for the fact that um you know, because of the, the the sake of the Popeye, I did cut the potatoes a bit on the smaller side. Let me add the potatoes in there. Here's the celery and the carrots. Let me stir this in here all really well. And then for liquid, I'm going to add some coconut milk and some water. Have here a cup of coconut milk. Wow, 
Oh, I hate that screech, but I'll just clean my kitchen and get rid of stuff. And I got rid of all my wooden spoons, so I have to remember to replace those. I hate when it's screeching with these spoons in this pot. And now I'm going to get a cup of water. Sorry guys, I'm trying not to do that screeching. Okay, let's cover this and let's cook this. I'll see you back soon. Guys, it's been about 15 minutes since I put everything in the pot. This is what we have. Yes, I've still been stirring. Every five minutes, every six minutes or so. Um, but um Jade, you're probably gonna eat this instead, right? Uh -huh. Okay. You're probably going to eat this instead, right? Because I didn't cook any rice to go with that. So you have the, the mom. Okay, guys. So um, the oven just preheated. So I'm going to put one, one of the... um, I buttered the baking dish. I'm going to put one of the, the crust on the bottom of it. I figure you'll eat that instead and just leave whatever left over for tomorrow. So tomorrow, I figure you'll eat that instead and let, eat the leftovers tomorrow. I don't like that. Way. that way tomorrow I don't have to cook either way because like either way I'm not cooking. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna put the, this bottom pie crust in the oven for maybe five minutes. Cook it just a bit. See you back in five minutes guys I am back I'm going to take the um thing out the oven okay you know, one the good thing about this too is you heat up this like that, you don't have to wait on the filling to be cool to put it in here. I can just transfer it from here and there. And it's also a choice if you put um, one of the fillings on the bottom, you can just really put it on the top. You don't have to put one on the bottom too. So let me get this crossed on the top here. And no, I don't have no time for no pretty nothing. So I'm gonna fold it in here like this. I think it's 
got a hog. Okay, I'm gonna just rub a little butter on the top of this. Cut a little. Put this cross in there. It's not the prettiest. It's all about my flavor right now. Oops, gotta be careful because the hot can be rip it. And guys, I'm going to put this in the oven for. 15 to 20 minutes and yes I'm gonna finish this off on low the same time too so I will see you guys back soon okay guys so this is finished, but it's safe to say the um, Popeye needed more time. So after the, the 15 minutes, I decided to give it another 15 minutes. So here we go. This is what this finished pot looked like. You can just serve this up with some nice white rice. Does that not look divine? But I'll see you back in 15 minutes once my Popeye is ready, okay? Hey, hey, my um, oven just went out for my um. Popeye, I'm so excited, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Okay, guys. Take a look. Take a look. This is going to be curry chicken Popeye. Never been done before. I'm sure you will now. I think I'm gonna. I don't know, let's see. Mm. Oh, hush. That's the gene. Give me just a second. Look, guys, here it is. Here it is. I can't wait to dig into this. Woo, woo. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm telling y'all, you're gonna thank me. Mm. I want to hear about it when y'all make it. Please, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you from my kitchen to yours, from my home to yours. Enjoy, have a fabulous time eating. Wow.